The ending of Aliens features a climactic confrontation between Ellen Ripley and the Xenomorph Queen, culminating in a battle for survival and escape. After successfully rescuing Newt, Ripley and the remaining survivors find themselves trapped in the colony's operations center. As the Xenomorph Queen closes in, Ripley hatches a plan to disable the colony's cooling system, causing a catastrophic explosion that would wipe out the Xenomorphs. Ripley and Newt manage to make their way to the cargo bay where they find the formidable power loader exoskeleton. Ripley dons the exosuit, preparing for a direct confrontation with the Queen. In an intense showdown, Ripley uses the power loader to engage in a physical battle with the Queen. Ripley manages to gain the upper hand and eventually propels the Queen towards the airlock. As the Queen clings to the edge of the airlock, Ripley activates the airlock controls, causing the Queen to be sucked out into space. However, the Queen manages to hold on to Ripley's foot, threatening to drag her out as well. In the last ditch effort, Ripley uses her ingenuity and resourcefulness, grabbing a nearby weapon and blasting the Queen with a burst of flame. This causes the Queen to release her grip and she is finally expelled into space. When the Xenomorph threat seemingly eliminated, Ripley and Newt are rescued by the remaining crew members in a dropship, and they make their escape from the moon just as it explodes in a massive fireball. The movie ends with Ripley, Newt, and the android Bishop, played by Lance Henriksen, who survived the battle, recuperating in hypersleep pods as they head back to Earth with the hope of putting the terrifying ordeal behind them. In the summary, the ending of Alien showcases Ripley's bravery and resourcefulness as she confronts and defeats the Xenomorph Queen, securing the survival of herself, Newt, and Bishop. It sets the stage for a continuation of Ripley's story in future installments of the franchise.